Investors cheered strong companies' earnings and positive news on trade last week. U.S. stocks got a big boost after the U.S. and Chinese officials said they were close to finalizing some parts of a trade agreement, paving the way for a bigger deal. Meanwhile, U.S. companies reporting better-than-expected quarterly results included Intel, Visa and Microsoft. Positive signs prompted investors to dive into stocks again, and analysts believe hedge funds and other players will continue ramping up their equity exposure, which will keep the rally going. The S&P 500 jumped to a record high amid investor optimism. Wall Street's benchmark equity index flirted with an all-time closing high on Friday, but came up just short. It closed at 3,022.55, up by 1.2% for the week. Besides the trade optimism, seasonality is also on the bull's side. The fourth quarter is seasonally the strongest for equities, delivering 4% return on average since 1948, according to JP Morgan. Meanwhile, the Dow Jones Industrial Average added 0.5% to end the trading week at 26,958.06. Still, Blue Chip Index posted a weekly decline of 0.2%. The Nasdaq Composite advanced by 0.7% on Friday to put it within striking distance of its own record high. The tech-heavy index closed at 8,243.12, posting a 1.6% rise a week on week. In corporate news, Annika Therapeutics, a relatively unheard of biotech stock, was one of the biggest winners on Friday. The stock skyrocketed by 35.2%, reaching a new all-time high after the company released financial figures which surpassed Wall Street's expectations. For the week, it gained 25.8%. The total revenue for the biotech stock rose by 11% to $29.7 million, a solid improvement from the $26.8 million seen in the third quarter of 2018. Meanwhile, the shares of Albemarle Corporation, a global producer of lithium, were among the worst performers. The stock plunged by 8.4% on Friday after the company announced preliminary third quarter 2019 operating results. It ended the day at $63.59 with a 6.7% weekly loss. So what will happen this week? Monday marked the start of the busiest week of earnings season, with more than 140 companies set to report. Wall Street will also get set for a key Federal Reserve meeting later in the week, as well as the U.S. jobs data for October on Friday, which will be a key litmus test for the state of the U.S. consumers. If the report is weak, there could be some widespread selling. And this was Weekly Financial Review on Insta TV. Stay tuned.